evening, everybody, and welcome here to Shemang Speedrome here in Shemang, New York. My name is Devin Poslesny here with Racing Hotspot Fueled by DP Production Group as we are here on September 13th, Friday the 13th, for two fun uh, feature events here with the Bandolero cars and the U.S. Legends cars. We have four Bandolero cars that will make up the Bando feature here. Number 9, 13, 51, and 1. Um, I have the names in front of me, but I'm afraid to try them, I will admit. Um, number 9, I will just go by first names right here. Number 9 is Chase. The 13 is Josh. The 51 is Derek. And the 1 is Jeffrey. I just, you know, the only one out of there, there that I'm afraid to attempt is the 9, just because I don't even want to try it. Anyways, 10 laps the distance. We are green with the Bandos. The heat race earlier was wild. Let me tell you that. These four drivers were going three wide and all over the place. It was one heck of a show. There it is, three wide already. The 51 car drops inside. That's Derek. He'll come up on Chase. Whoa! Woohoo! He saved it right there. That's going to lose a lot of time, though. Chase takes off. Josh is in second. Jeffrey pulling up the tail end of the field there in the one car. Whoa, around goes the 51 and the one car. Two cars spin right here in turn number two. That's going to pull the caution. That is Derek and Jeffrey. Derek Volger. Yeah, Volger and uh, Jeffrey Noe. Noe. No. Noe. Spun, spun in turn number two. Number 13, let me, is Josh Duke. He's the current points leader. Here he is right there. And then Chase, I'm going to try your last name. And I will admit, I'm probably going to butcher it. And I apologize if I do. I'm going to say Chase Sinsborough. Sinsborough. So I apologize if Chase, I, I butchered your name. But anyways. Chase leading, Josh in second, Jeffrey in third as the 51 had to go to the pits. There he is, he's being held by the officials as the field goes by. So ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a Legends feature, that's why we didn't go to commercial there in the caution. I know for those of you who watch us regularly, you know that well, we caution go periods go are commercial the periods, the but the wheel we figured we'd just go with it. But take a look at this facility track. as they're getting the one to go to green. Turn one and turn turn one, two, and three and four is so weird. I was talking to James Anderson earlier. He's from he runs here normally. He's not racing tonight, unfortunately, but he'll be at Bethel on this weekend when we go. You look at turn one, you think they go high, right? You think they're up here. But they're actually down there. And that's weird. But you know what? It's the faster lane around. And turn three and four is even weirder. We'll get there when they come back around under green. We here we go. Two laps down, eight to go, green flag. Turn three and four, I was saying was weird because you'll see they dive onto the apron right there. That's the fast lane around, four cars under a blanket, three wide for second as they come around to the line. Volger and Duke going at it for second place right now. Noe in fourth. Sinsborough takes, takes the lead here. That's Chase. Chase in the number nine Bandolero car, and it's painted like the Napa Auto Parts. It actually, let's take a look real quick. Does this car actually have Napa on it? <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> 
They'll be putting lap number five up on the board this time. Halfway home, five down, five to go here at the line. And it's Chase Sinzabar. 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 That's how it says. Sinzabar. Sinzabar. I apologize, Chase. I really do. Here comes the 51 of Volger. Volger. Drop it inside. Going for the lead. He's got the Days of Thunder paint scheme. New leader here at Shemung. But Chase says not so fast. He'll drop to the high side. Here comes Josh. Duke looking to spoil the party. Derek to the lead. Chase falls in second. And Josh will fall to third. Jeffrey fourth. Here comes Chase. Oh, they make contact turn one. No harm, no foul. We're still green. Chase. Oh, they're sideways. There goes Chase. Round goes Sinsabaugh. And that's going to bring us under caution for the second time. Caution's flying. Seven laps down. These two. Oh, oh, the 51 and the 9 going at it. Results in an accident. Holy cow. So, ladies and gentlemen, here, we're actually going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with the finish of this, re this race. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Back here at Shemung Speedrome, Friday the 13th here on a nice evening in September. Sinzabad to the back of the field because he was the caution. We are green with Volger. Volger up front, sorry. Sorry, Derek. Volger takes the lead. Now here comes Noe. He looks on the inside. Where has he been all night? Ooh, runs up high in four. No harm, no foul. Two to go. Josh Duke takes the spot back, but no, he will take it back on the inside. Great battle for second and third. Wow, they're battling. That's just playing right into the hands of young Derek Vogler. Vogler takes the white flag here. Chase spun out. He is completely out of the loop right now. Meanwhile, the battle is for second. The number one in the 13 going out of here. Who's going to finish second? Who's going to finish third? That's what we are going to find out. Coming off turn number four, it's Derek Volger taking the win. Here's Shemong, and it's the 13 going to beat out the one. Josh Duke beats out Jeffrey Noe. Volger gets the win. Volger. So I apologize. Man. I know I'm butchering these names, and that's not okay as a broadcaster. But that's that's on me. I apologize. But Chase finishes fourth. Derek finishes first. Josh second, and Jeffrey third. And they're going into victory lane here crazy race ladies and gentlemen here we're going to take a quick commercial break on the other side of the break we got your legends car feature six cars get ready it's going to be a good one don't go anywhere we'll be right back
Welcome back here to Shimong Speedrome here in Shimong, New York. Final feature of the evening for us here as it is time for the U.S. Legends car feature. Six laps the distance. Let's go over the starting lineup. Starting in the back, on the number 144 is Raven Schrantz. Sean Verweis starts in the 18. Keith Youngs starts in the number 5 on the outside of row number 2. Kevin, or sorry, Kyle Youngs starts on the inside of row number 2. And then in the number 20. Okay, I'm missing a car. Okay, so Jody Buckley is in the yellow 20, and I can't think of off the top of my hood who's in the red 20. I apologize. It's a 20 lap feature. This lap, this Apple update, green flag. Down into turn one they go, all the way, already pushing, shoving, already into turn number one. Jody Buckley in the lead here as Kyle Young wants the position. He's got five wins on the, on the season, and there's been a bounty put on him. So this is going to get interesting. Right, I'm confused by this app I have. So I'm going to pull out the good old fashioned paper. Staying wide here for a second, I apologize. Gary Ham is in the 20, he runs third. Buckley, Youngs, Ham, that's your top three as they come off turn number four to complete lap number three. Then Youngs in fourth. Verwise fifth, and Trance in sixth. But it's Buckley, Youngs, those two are going at it. There was a bounty put out because Kyle Youngs wins here so often. Someone put up $200. If they could beat him, they'd win 200 bucks. My question was, is was there any rules as to how to beat him? Inside for... Say, inside for... The third position, that's Ham on the outside and the other Youngs is trying to get around him. Four cars are under a blanket here at the Drome. Whoa, Buckley got loose. That's gonna allow Youngs and Ham to go storming by him. Jody Buckley, something happened in three. Pretty sure he got loose. Looked like he threw an anchor out the window. That's going to allow Kyle Youngs to go right on by. Battle still for third. It's Keith Youngs on the inside of Gary Ham. Halfway home, 10 down, 10 to go. The field wants a caution because they cannot get back up to Young. The other Young got loose. Here comes Ham. Kyle Young completes lap 12. Eight to go here at Shimong. Me 
Meanwhile, back here, Keith and Gary going at it into one. Want to just take a note, show you Verweiss's car. Love the American flag out the driver's side window. This past Wednesday, of course, was the 18th anniversary of the September 11th attack. So it's great to see patriotism at the racetrack. Showing that our country is strong. Let's do a flyby of the field. Here's the five cars. The only person who's not in the picture is Sharant right there. He's entering three and four right now. Two to go at the line. Back here, nothing really happening. Everyone playing, minding their P's and Q's. A $200 bounty was put on them. Wild, wild west rules, but nobody can stop them. Kyle Youngs, off turn four, gets his sixth win of the season here in Shemung. What a feature. Kyle Youngs. First, and I believe it was Jody Buckley third, second, and Gary Ham finished third. That's your unofficial top three. What a feature. These guys will do post-race interviews now, but here, we'll do our post-race here. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our coverage here at Shemung Speedrome. What an amazing little track. I know I mentioned it earlier in the Bandolero car feature. Such a cool, and as somebody who commented on social media earlier, such an unorthodox racing line. Such a weird racing line. I mean, it's still really cool. Um, coming up on our motorsports schedule, we have Sunday. We were supposed to be at Bethel tomorrow, but Mother Nature decided she wanted to try and race with us. But, you know, rain and racing doesn't mix. I guess she's not getting the memo on that. So uh, she won't be at Sunday's race, but the race got moved to Sunday afternoon. We'll still be there. We'll be there with the Bandolero cars, which, if you remember correctly, Bethel does it differently. They have three races, a beginning Bandolero, a regular Bandolero, and then... Um, a Legends car feature. So we'll get those three races. And then next week, our schedule kind of got shuffled around a little bit. But on Friday, we'll be at New Hampshire Motor Speedway for the Roval event. I I'm calling it a Roval. They're calling it a modified oval. I'm going to say Roval because it sounds cooler. Um, on Friday night, it's a part of that fall, full throttle fall weekend. Um, so we'll have coverage of that race. And then instead of going to Speedway 51 on the 21st, we're not going to really have anything on the 21st because Speed 51 got moved to October 5th. Um, so the remainder of our schedule looks like this. After the Feb, uh, 20th NHMS race, we're going to have Saturday the 21st off, and then we're going to bounce over to um, the 28th weekend. I believe we're back at Bethel. And then after that, we have two more races, which was at NHMS on October 5th. I'm sorry, Speed 51 on October 5th and NHMS on October 6th. I have to admit I'm going completely off memory on this. You have to be proud of me, even though I'm having my mess ups. You got to be proud of me. Anyways, that's the remainder of our schedule. I know, it's crazy. That puts us at 29 races. Um, unfortunately, with Speed 51 being moved, we had to drop one of the road course races for NHMS. But... That race will still happen, so if you're running the road course, go race it, have fun. We'll be there for your season finale on the 6th. Anyways, that's going to do it. I'm done rambling on. Done. 
Have a great night, everybody. Keep it locked on our social media accounts for any updates on as to our, as to if our schedule changes or if we add a race or drop a race or whatever. Um, at this point, we'll be only adding races. But uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. My name is Devin Poslesny signing off. Have a great night. Congratulations to the two feature winners. We'll see you all at Bethel. Good